Okay, I'm back with Hemmer and we're going to do a Provence scene in a little harbour called Cassis in the south of France, in Provence. Uh, these lovely coloured boats. And we're going to start to keep it as simple as we can by using the sponge rollers. I will mix the colours here for us both and you will copy me, follow me, I'll put my colour on here, I'll show you how, and you do the same there. So we should be able to do the jigsaw method of filling one colour at a time. Whenever we have a colour on here, and the colour is anywhere on here, we put it everywhere. We don't keep cleaning the roller. So if we have blue here, and the same blue is down here, we do here and here. So whatever I do here, you will do there. So I will mix the colour here. We have some lovely colours. Look at these lovely colours we have today. There we are, Hammer. To enjoy. Ooh. So it's like a box of sweeties, eh? Yeah. <laughs> So I'll move the camera now so that you can see what we're doing. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is make some blue for the sky. And we have several colours of blue. It goes from a more turquoise blue here and gradually gets a little warmer and darker up here. We could use a brush to do this just by going in strokes and blending. And we can use the roller today. I want to use the roller first of all over all of the painting, just to do the basic colours. And if we use the roller, we can still see the drawing underneath so you won't be lost. It'll be thin. And then when we've done all of that, we will use the brush. Right, so let's mix the first blue. And we want a fairly turquoise blue at the bottom. So I'm going to take some turquoise from here, mix it in. You can probably use the same roller, it might be easier. And I'm going to put a little bit of lemon yellow into that to make it a slightly greener colour because you will see it will work. A little bit of white, lovely colours look. Obviously it doesn't look correct when we first put it on because the white canvas will make it look too dark. But once we have the colours on it will start to work. So a little bit more white. There, this lovely colour look. And we'll use that first. Now, to use the roller, what we do, and I'll do this for you all the time, all you have to do is put it on, is we roll the roller through the brush and the paint. So, and you just come in and you go around the shapes like this. It doesn't matter if you go slightly over them, and roll it right on, right up through here, all the way around, right up here. We're going to put more colour on afterwards, but the main thing is to go right over here first. We haven't got to worry about this. This is the cloud area, so we don't have to do that. Plenty of paint. I'll make some more. <clears throat> the first coats, like any painting, always use more paint. So make sure you push hard when you get into this. Yeah, I'll do the same here. And mine. It doesn't matter if there's a slight variety of tone because it makes it more interesting, in fact. So when we're rolling, if we don't get it absolutely smooth, as long as we get rid of the canvas, that's the main thing, yeah? If you want more paint, I'll make some more. Don't worry. But you see, we can just see the drawing marks underneath, so we won't, we won't lose what we've, the work we've done. That's excellent, well done. Super. i do a little bit more, just to get mine finished, and then I'll make the next colour. Okay, now what I'm going to do now in the same colour is to make it a little darker. So we're going to take a bit more of the paint, the, sorry, the uh, turquoise, without the white and no yellow, and we put the roller in. Now this is where you have to be a little bit more delicate because we are going to, halfway up here, just add a little darker colour over the top. You see? Now if I use the roller heavily, it covers it fully. If I use it gently, we can make almost like a glaze. So I'm going to just gently glaze it down. Don't worry about slight lines. Glaze it down here and then go right up to the top. So I'll put your roller in the same. There. Fine. Excellent. Good. It's so simple. It's not so hard. Oh, it's so complicated, Peter! No, we the mean, design just, looks so bad. Oh, well, bit by bit, a little bit by little bit. Yes, okay. Well, I'll help with the colours. Now I want to go a little darker still, so I take some... Um, oh, what should we take? Some cerulean now, uh, which is a little bit darker, into that, into the same paint, you see. Uh, 
No, I use these rollers with my granddaughter. Yes. <laughs> All the many uses, yeah. And this time we come down to here, so only this functions as well. That's it. That's good. What we want to do is try and get a graduation from the top downwards, you see. So it gradually comes down. Oh, I want a little, what we call broken colour. Do you remember what broken colour was? No. No, it's like the Impressionists. You know, when they make orange, they don't mix red and yellow. They put red and yellow dots together to make the impression of an orange. It's more vibrant. Yeah. So we've got this lovely blue sky. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have a little pink going over it just to make it vibrate a bit more. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take some water over here and a little bit of our very light pink and ever so gently I just want to bring the roller over the top you see just to give a that's right right the way through it I'll put it up and I'll do it for you then you can go there we are that's it so just over the surface gently in in stripes in spots in, in areas to give the feeling of a Mediterranean light so gently so we can use the rollers for glazing and texture almost, can't we? Mm -hmm. Now with that same pink, we're going to make it slightly lighter and put a bit more white in. We're going to paint the, the, the background of the clouds with this, first of all. So I'll just get that going on your roller. That should be right. Yes, there we go. If you paint the, the clouds with that, that's ready to go. All of the cloud here all the way down to here that's it you got it yeah great that's fine go over the so when you come to the blue just go over slightly like this just let it go fluffily over the over the edges a bit there look like that excellent super well done hammer right let's let the camera see what you're doing that's hammers now we're doing very nicely as well so she's done the sky the same as me and we will now move on. Now we have to go a little bit lighter for the sky, but we'll leave that for the moment. We'll let that dress dry a little bit, otherwise it's going to be too mucky. Now do we have the, a blue anywhere else, any other colour like this? Yeah. Looking down, yes, looking down here, the same sort of pink is coming here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we take the same pink, I'll just mix a little bit more, the same pink, blue, grey. Uh, just this boots. piece, just leave the boats. Just, just this piece here. I'll show you on mine. Want to watch me first? Yeah. All I'm going to do is this bit here. Just down now. You see, make the roller go at the right angle, so you go around the boats here, mm -hmm. and that comes all the way down to here, like this. So it's all you of this block. Here. Pink, yeah, it's all the pinks here. No, but not now. Yeah, now, all down here. Yeah. Don't you need blue first? No, 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 no. We, can't. we have blue in it because it's already in your roller. It's a little work. Trust your teacher. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do, I do. That's the way. You can go vertically too if you want. That's it. Go right up to the edges. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> so make sure you come right up to this, this line here. Would it be easier to do by brush with brush that one? I don't think so. We're going to come back with a brush later. You'd have to learn how to use the tool. So that's coming right in. That's it round there. You've got it. Yeah, that's the way. Keep going. Yeah. Make sure you get rid of all of the white canvas, that's the important. And I'm going to go a little bit over the bow of the boat there as well. So this piece here, use the corner of the roller, not the flat, use the edge of the roller like that, just to try and get this shadow here on the bow of the boat. Yes. So when it's on our roller, we want to do it. So now which you have to decide where that is on here. <laughs> okay, so that, okay. Um, so that's, that's good. Right, anywhere else, we've got some blues over here. You could put those in. You see where the chairs and things are. Mm -hmm. You could just take the same blue and you see I've marked, just made uh, abstract marks. There's the sign. Here's the sign. There's your sign. Mm -hmm. So it's to the right of the sign here. Just make a mark with the blue. Here, make a mark with the blue. Wherever we see the blue. A little bit of blue there. About it, yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of blue up here as well. Under the house. We have a little bit of blue right up there, if we can find the same place. So that's up here on yours, it's just here. When we've done the, um, when we clean the rollers and the palette, we just dry the rollers a little bit, otherwise they're too wet, and then everything would just go too wet in there. We want to have a little look at the clouds. 
Now there are some clouds here, so we're not going to use a brush, we're going to try and use the roller still. I'm okay. going to take a little bit of white and add, well no, we'll start, we'll start with this lovely cream colour here, we'll start with this cream colour, I don't want too much on it, that's just this lovely uh, ivory cream I've got. Like Cream. Tim, yeah, uh, and ever so gently, okay, so just a little bit of it on the roller. I'll, I'll do it for you, don't worry. I'll put a little more water in there, just get it going. It's quite thick, this paint at the moment. I'm using heavy body paint, so mm -hmm. I'll try to get that covered. Next for you, the same. A bit of heavy body paint, and just coat the roller a little. I don't want it too much. Now, that's your one ready. Be very gentle. Wait a minute, let me show you first. Don't rush on. Now, we don't want to use too much of this. We're going to use the roller in little movements like this. All we're doing is the top of the cloud. So, the edge of the roller, not the flat, and just feel, ever so gently look, mm -hmm. the tops of these clouds like this. Quite gently, we can go harder later. Right up to here, there's little bits of cloud right up here. Just very gently on there. Just letting this make a slight glow to the painting. We're going to put a lighter colour later. This is just our base colour. So you try that, okay? Edge of the roller, just building up these little bits of cloud top. Just little bits of the tops of the cloud. Now, what I'm going to do now is make a cooler yellow. That was quite a warm yellow. Do you understand what I mean by warm and cool? Do you remember? Uh, yeah. Warm is fire, ice is cool. Ice blue, warm, fire, red. So any warmer colour, so if we look at these blues, mm. this is a more purple blue to that blue. So this is a more icy blue, this mm. is a warmer blue, that's a warmer still. This is a very warm red and that's a very cool red because it's more of a purple. We're going to make a slightly cooler yellow by adding a little bit of the lemon yellow here, mm. like that is. And we're going to use some of that now, just to finish off the tops of the clouds, and they will look so much warmer than what we've just done. So for instance, if I put a little bit up here, look how different that yellow is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you now have a little go at the light bits of cloud, it's the very tops, the very lightest bits. Don't overdo it, just little bits of the slightly cooler yellow up here. Just to feel. Don't worry, don't worry. You can always use your finger, remember, if you want to smudge something out, you can always mm -hmm. use your finger just to smudge it a fraction. You see what I've got there now, yeah? Yeah. That's what we're going to do, just a little bit like that, just to get the but feeling it, of the cloud. Isn't it a good idea to wear gloves? That's good. Mm -hmm. You need to wear gloves. No, I'm just asking. No, I don't think so. We, we won't use it much but now. But would it come out? Of? From finger. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yes, it'll all wash off, it'll all wear away. Oh, we we'll chop your finger off, you have a choice. <laughs> right. No, because I love doing things with the fingers. Oh yes, good, that's fine, that you can do. Now, we're going to use this cream quite a bit, so I'm going to make a bit more of it. We're going to have quite a bit of this cream, because it's on the buildings and it's on the boats. Lemon yellow into this that. was the one I wasn't that's supposed correct. to do. Correct. That's it. it. Yes, yes. And then we're going to go above here as well. So not this bit, but the whole of this bit here. All of this. Yeah. Oh, we're getting it covered. Good. That's the way. Yeah. You see it here, from all the way along here, and then I've just done a couple of vertical roll marks here. You see how the reflections come down mm -hmm. from the boats. So I've done that. Then I've gone like that that way a fraction as well. Here I need some more white as well, that's going to be white in there, through here. Mm. You choose. Okay, yellow would be better. Okay, we'll do the yellow first. So I'll take a little bit more stronger golden yellow, but I'm going to take some deep cadmium and so we'll put that in there. Well, we've got many yellows, we've got uh, our, our cadmium yellow, we've got deep cadmium deep, we've got lemon, and we've got chrome, we've got you know, three or four yellows there. Okay. And we've got yellow ochre here, which is darker still. We're going to need that in a minute as well. Mm -hmm. So let's just get that onto our rollers okay. in a careful line. Now this is, this is not going to be mm -hmm. easy to do. We have to go quite carefully using the edge of the roller, not the flat, the edge, and push in this line along here, all the way along. See, you've got one, two, three, four. Lots of lines, I got only. You should have this. You've got one, two, three, four. You, it's um, it's this one. Yeah. Yeah. 
So if you can use the edge of the roller, if not, you've got to use it much more like that. Not like this, but like that, you see, to get the edge fine. That's it. That's that bit there. And then where else? Then we come over here to the buildings and we make the whole of that building that colour. Just to get us started off, just to get a good background. And it won't seem as frightening and as complicated for you then, which it does at the moment. Now this building must be reflecting down in the water, so I'm going to put some pink just down here as well. Down here. Yeah, but this... That's alright? Yes. Oh yeah. yes, I've made more, that's right. I made the whole of these. So I'm going to add more magenta to it. And a little touch of yellow ochre, and that will give me the slightly deeper pink. Just test it on there, you see what I mean? You see the difference there, look? Oh, yes. And that's this colour now. So again... And that just water, goes here. That's, yes, you've got to use the edge of the roller. So shall I start off again and show you? Um, yeah. So a little bit of magenta, that's this colour here. It's a deeper, cool red. It's a more like, rosy, purpley red. Then a wee bit of yellow ochre into that, just to make it more golden. Mm. So, oh, it's over here too, look. There's one here. So we'll use it across here as well. Just there. And then, where these bits of roof are up here, wherever they are, here we've got the roof. Now you've lost yours a bit, that your roof will be here, okay? Mm. So at the edge of the roll we do the roof over here. You can tie this up with a brush later, let's not worry about that. This is just the tops of the, the roof, so don't put too much up there. It's only little bits along here, more and more this side, okay? So yellow ochre, water, white, and a wee touch of the green. I'm going to take a cool green into that, and you see the colour we get there now. It's about right for there. So I'm going to figure that. Somewhere along here. Of that colour. There we are. Do you need more? I'll put some on your roller, your roller's ready. Um, that's that building there. Oh, well, that, that's the pink there. No, it is, it is. That's, that's the pink there. Pink. there. So it, it is there, yeah, it is there. It is there, yes, it is. Good. Yeah, it, it's most places, isn't it, now? It is. It's a lot of yeah. the places, yeah. complicated there because it gets very fiddly and we've got to do that with a brush I think. I've got to take it right out gently. Let's leave. Right, these trees, very carefully you see where they stop this that line there just at the top edge so don't use a roller like that you must use a roller on its edge to find these trees that go thin, thick, through here like this up with the edge of the roller, just the edge of the roller right here. Right on the top. Yeah, all the way along the top there, and paint. Because we've got to do the um, the C, the reflections down here as well. We've got green down below here, below that line there, like that, and it comes out in ripples like this. So I'm using my roller to come out in these ripples. Use the colours more. The pencil there, if you need it again. Uh, yes, we're going to. We've almost got the background done, so it's only a matter now of coming what, back what with the colours. What colour do I need here? Right. Well, <clears throat> you've got that building there. You've got yeah. this one here. But it was getting these darks. So if you're going back to the darks again, it's now cutting out this. It's, it's coming back to here and finding these. I mean, for instance, we can just do the windows in. this colour from there, this colour here, 
I thought we were going to put it on this side. No, no? it's direct at the moment. We're going to mix here. All right. But um, at the moment, okay. you just want that pure colour there. And you're going to put it here, in here. Oh, yeah, you are a bit ahead of me. Yeah. No, you're ahead of me here. I know, I know. But I'm ahead of you here. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? To paint shapes. This one. I put some colour here for you. There you are, plenty. Okay. And you will fill in this shape here, this this triangle, in all of this, yeah, line. like this, yeah. Okay, because my hand is shaking. Well, maybe we have to put the uh, board flat. We find a way for you. Which is your best way? What happens if you do yeah. it like this? Yeah, let's do that way. Yeah, you can rest your hand. Yeah. The idea is to so find a way you, for if you. If you hold the easel. Yeah. Got that? Okay, then you come up here. Shall I? <coughs> Now we have to come up to these boats here. Shall I do the other way around so that my hand doesn't... Whichever is best as long as you know where things are going. Now let's have a look. So the next blue is enough. Okay. And anywhere else is blue. So here. Um, if you see blue anywhere else or in the chairs here, here, here. Is the light blue or dark blue? The same blue. Wherever you see the same blue at the moment. Okay, anywhere else you see? Uh, the shutters we've done, those are not so bad there. Uh, There's that one and this one, where does that It's a little bit of blue, yes, there's some blues in here, back in here, in these little spots here, that one across the top. All we've got to do is just find these colours. You can sometimes do without me, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm changing yeah, yeah, the colour now. So, no, no, that um, doesn't have to be the same colour, does it? No, no, it's different colours. I'm changing the blues now, you see. That's the way, that's it. If we just get rid of it with the wash at the moment, as long as we get the right, approximately the right shapes and colours, sure, sure. Uh, we can then... That's what I'm trying to Yeah, do. that's right. Then, then we can put the details on afterwards. It's just understanding where we are at the minute. I'm trying to find these shadows. Under here. Around there. This is the too dark. I'm going to put the white bits of boat back in over them, the cream, the very light bits of cream will go in afterwards. It's just a matter of trying to find these shapes at first now, before putting the light bits in. So we can use that as a wash, almost. And we're on our second session, and starting to paint now the details and tighten up on the picture a bit more. Can I have the thin brush as well? You can, but you don't need it yet. All you had to do was use your brush that way and not this way. I know. Yep. Okay. Good. I've got to tell you these things again to remind you. Yes. Yeah, sure. the, the brush in your hand is not just to be used in one direction. It can be used across and um, down as well. Well, let's go back to this nice Provence uh, boat scene, this um, scene of Cassis that I was doing with uh, Hemmer. And she's got far enough ahead now that she can complete that without my having my work there. Just using the photograph, because the, the hard bit was the first bit, just mapping out where all the colours are going to go. If I want to start slabbing on some colour now, I'm going to change this completely. Um, and put on much, much heavier, thicker paint in blocks and brighten this up. Let's see how we go.
So I just about finished this one I was doing with Hema, and she can look at this later and uh, complete hers as well, take it as far as I have. If she wants, so she can leave it even looser. I might just go on in between here and tie it up a little bit more photographically. 